help Jenna, I am American and no bank is accepting me in Germany. What do I do? I want to open my bank account before I move and I want to be paid by my employer, but I just can't figure it out. I get this email every single day from so many people and I finally figured out the answer for you guys. So in this video, you will figure out what the absolute best bank for you this year will be, plus some really good tips for internationals who are having some difficulty opening up a bank here in Germany. Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel Life in Germany. If you haven't been here before, my name is Jenna. I'm a Canadian who's been living here since 2014 and I share all of my experiences and my stories living here in Germany over on this channel. But I've also put together a really, really cool jam-packed 12-step checklist to help you guys out when you first get started. So I've included that link down below. But today I really wanna talk about something that has been changing in the recent months. So much has changed, you guys, so much. And unfortunately, not so much for the better. A lot of free accounts are now no longer free and there are a lot of banking opportunities here in Germany that are now no longer available to American citizens planning on moving here to Germany. Things got really easy for internationals for a long time and there was actually the possibility of being able to register for your bank account before you actually get here and just using a virtual card until you arrive to get that actual physical card so that you could actually set up that account, put money in the account and actually have that bank card when you fly and you land at the airport to buy your first lunch, you know? These things are still possible, but a lot has changed. So now we're gonna go through some of the best banks for English speakers and for expats living in Germany with some new rules, with some new exceptions. And I'm gonna tell you, there's not like one bank fits all really depending on who you are where you're coming from and whether or not you speak the german language is going to depend on which bank really is best for you so we'll go through seven of them today and for americans do not worry i have jumped through so many hoops trying to find a good alternative for you guys that was very similar to all of these new online banks that have some really good offers and i actually have found something for you which i'm really excited so stay until the end because a lot of this information is gonna re be really important for you guys. But let's jump into it. So the banks I'm gonna talk to you about today are the very popular and very well-known N26. Then you've got Tomorrow Bank, Commerzbank, DKB, Nuri, and Vivid. And then my newest solution for you, which I'll make you wait until the end for. So we're gonna go through these, go through some of the updates that they're making, if it might benefit you or not. But the one thing to note here is that one of the biggest changes this year is that a lot of online banks nowadays work with this company called ID Now. And ID Now is actually responsible for identifying and verifying who you are, whether your passport is valid, and if you can obtain a bank account here in Germany. So this is actually the reason why many Americans nowadays cannot open banks online at banks that they typically used to banks that i used to tell you guys this is your best option and now it's not even an option but i'm really happy that we do have some solutions for you guys and that hopefully we can get you guys all set up with the bank before you actually move to germany to avoid some of that stress and hassle when you get here because we all know there's a lot on your plate and a lot on your list of things to do when you first arrive. Okay, now diving into N26, their biggest update is the fact that they actually have a temporary waiting list, which might mean that this isn't even an option for any of us at this point in time. They have so much demand right now and they are super busy making changes to their website, to their platform, to the accounts that they're currently offering a waiting list, not just for their free account, but also for their paid account. So they have four different account options. The one that we're gonna focus on and that we often focus on because you guys love it so much is the free N26 bank account. You are actually going to need a residence permit in order to open that account. This is something that has changed in recent years. I think they were a little bit more flexible earlier on where you could open it while you were still living abroad now the case is you really do need to provide that registration document when you first 
move to the city of your choice here in Germany. Otherwise, you can't open the bank account. One of the good benefits is that when you do open an account, you initially get a virtual card, which also means you're not going to be sent a card to a location. Perhaps you've put in an address of a friend or family member that lives here because you're not there or you've registered temporarily somewhere else. You can actually get that virtual card ahead of time. And then once you're ready and set up and you want the actual plastic card, you can order that later for an additional fee. There are some restrictions with this bank account. You can take out three cash withdrawals a month for a maximum of 1000 euros a day. And sometimes it might be less than that. It just depends on the ATM and what their rules are. Another really big change for them, of course, is that opening an N26 account again now is not open to all nationalities. Unfortunately, that also includes US citizens. And this is due to this lack of sufficient forms or documents proving your identification, AKA it is not going to be approved by their identification system. I also wrote down here that they have Apple and Google Pay. I'm going to mention that all of the online English banks nowadays do have it. The only one that doesn't have it in the list that I'm going to talk about today is Nuri. Otherwise, you can expect that all of them have Apple and Google Pay. So the next big update is with Tomorrow Bank. I really, really loved this bank. I still love it. It's all about focusing on tomorrow. It is a very sustainable bank. You can order sustainable cards that are made out of wood. Every purchase you make goes towards actually making a sustainable difference in our world today, which is really cool. However, they used to have a free account and now that account is no longer free. So that's going to cost you a minimum of three euros per month and every withdrawal you make, you'll be charged a fee of two euros. I think this is a pretty hefty fee because many of them offer you maybe a maximum of two or three withdrawals per month, which is also really confining you to a particular limit. Maybe you're one of those people who likes to take money out each and every week. That's not an option. In this case, every time you take money out, you're going to be charged this two euro fee. They do have online support. It is not 24 seven. It's Monday to Friday and it's a phone hotline. Otherwise they also have email and chat. With tomorrow, you don't actually need that residence permit right away. Online, it does actually say that you do need that residence permit. But when we go through forums and Facebook community groups of ours, a lot of people within the last week have said you actually don't need that residence permit in order to open the account. Now, similar to perhaps let's say Vivid, I know this because this is the bank that I'm with. It says online that you need that residence permit and you need an address here in Germany, but you don't actually have to provide it for up to three months. So you still have this leeway, this three month leeway to provide them that documentation without it hindering you from opening a bank account quickly. With tomorrow though, they do also do the similar identification process with ID now. So that means that only accepted passports and ID cards that are included within this ID now program will be accepted to open an account with Tomorrow Bank. That unfortunately also includes you Americans. The reason that I keep mentioning America is because a lot of the people watching this video and a lot of the issues and changes that have been made are impacting Americans. There are other countries and residents of other countries that are impacted by these rules. However, America has the most recent <laughs> updates and the most recent changes made to unfortunately hinder their opportunity to open up a bank here in Germany. Now, looking into the two German banks that I mentioned, we've got Commerzbank and DKB. Commerzbank, they do offer a free account, which is great, but they do have this rule that you have to be gaining income to, in order for the account to be free. So you have to get a minimum of 700 euros added into your account every month. Typically that comes out of your payroll. Otherwise you're going to have to figure out how to do that some other way. Otherwise you're going to be charged the typical account fee, which is nine euro 90 per month. So if that's something you're worried about, then maybe this is not the best option for you. But Commerzbank is actually very beloved to many Germans. Unfortunately, they don't offer so many services in English. They never really have. They claim that they do. I personally, from my experience, feel like unless you go to a branch location and ask if they speak English, well, then you might not get so much support in English. And that's okay because there are also many of you coming from abroad who would prefer to have a branch location. Of course, with a bank, 
that has a branch location typically means they're not as international and they don't offer as many English services. But in bigger cities, you may tend to find people who speak the English language at the actual branch location who can support you, but on the telephone or on their chat services, it might be a little bit different. And they do have a couple bonuses, which is really nice. They usually have a 50 euro starting bonus. So when you open the account, you get 50 euros. And then when you refer someone to open an account, you can get 100 euros. I should mention here that because it's a German bank, they aren't always super open to accepting foreign nationals. It's tough. I can't tell you exactly which countries are and are not accepted, but you do need to be registered in Germany. You will need to be here in Germany in order to to open that account and to prove to them that you have a registered address here. Now, what makes DKB very different from Commerzbank is that they actually don't have a branch location. They are an entirely online bank, but they are probably the number one most loved bank by Germans around Germany. And that probably used to be because they provided you with a free credit card and a free debit card. Now they've merged that. You don't actually get your own credit card, but you get a visa debit, which is what you typically get with all other online banks as well. That just means you can use it as a credit card, but you have to have the funds in order to spend the money, if that makes sense. So the great thing about DKB is that it is entirely free. There is absolutely no hidden fees. You can withdraw cash worldwide without worrying about absolutely anything. So it makes it really, really easy. It's super quick to apply for online as are many other online banks. But of course, the biggest downside is that this is a German bank, which also means that there is no English support and no branches where you can ask. Entschuldigung, sprechen Sie Englisch? So a little bit more about DKB. They do also have a tendency to decline some foreigners based on their passport, unfortunately. It's not super easy all the time, but you are again gonna have to have that residency permit in order to open that account anyway but you will be able to do it online. Now, the other two online banks that I'm going to mention today, in addition to my solution at the end, would be Nuri, which is formerly Bitwala. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that, and Vivid, which is the bank account that I am currently with. So Nuri does offer a free account. And what's also great is similar to DKB, they also offer free withdrawals worldwide without any restrictions. So if you're the type of person who really likes to take cash out weekly. This is not something that you have to worry with, with a Nuri account. I've mentioned with other accounts that you can get that virtual card beforehand and then get the plastic card later. This is also an option with Nuri. And the reason why I always mention this is because a lot of people like to use a different address when they first register for a bank account because they're not 100% sure if they're going to be staying within a location that they perhaps punched in as an address when they first registered. Here's the con of all of them though, unfortunately, is that Nuri is not gonna be an option for Americans right now. They have also since changed their rules. Um, there are other nationalities that are not accepted either. When I say other nationalities, typically they might not have a list available for you. I would just say jump online on one of their chat supports and ask the questions you have there. It's probably the easiest and the best way to save your time. Now Vivid is a bit different, I would say, in terms of comparing it to Nuri. It's unfortunate because it's not free unlimited cash withdrawals. You actually are limited to taking out a maximum of 200 euros a month. However, similar to Nuri, it is a free account, but what's even better is that it comes with 15 free sub accounts, which means if you are saving money or you wanna save for a trip or you wanna have a sub account with your partner to save some money there or to have a shared account, which I have. So I have, for example, an account shared with my husband that we use for groceries and shared expenses. I have an account where I save up for my trips to Canada. I have an account for saving up for my car and all of my gas. I really have everything organized and it's entirely free. The biggest thing for me is I'm a huge fan as a North American of cash back programs. I love getting points. I love getting money back. And with Vivid, they have tons of cash back opportunities from local shops all over Germany. So the great thing about Vivid is that you don't actually have to provide your residence permit until three months. They give you a three month leeway at the moment. This could always change, but for 2022 right now, I'm filming this at the end of June, this is the case and nobody so far has had any issues with that. As long as you are from a country where they will approve your passport as identification, then this is a fantastic option. It used to be an option for Americans. It is now unfortunately no longer an option for Americans. Similar to Nuri, you can actually get a virtual 
virtual card and then choose to later on get your plastic cards so you can register your bank account a few months before you'll actually get here and just punch in the address of a family or a friend or perhaps your employer because you're not going to get any mail sent there anyway if you have a virtual card and then when you get here and you have your own apartment and you want the actual plastic card I actually just use my Apple Pay, so I never use my plastic card, but if you did, you can always order it later on. So, for you poor Americans and all the other nationalities who are now no longer accepted in these amazing online banking opportunities, what is the solution? What is your option here? I researched the crap out of this, honestly. I got on the phone with so many banks and tried to figure out the best alternative solution for you guys right now. I'm sure you guys have heard of TransferWise. I'm sure you've used it before if you've spent any time abroad. TransferWise is where you can transfer money from one currency to another. They have since opened up their own multi-currency bank account, if you will, which allows you to open a bank account in multiple different currencies and actually be able to get paid from almost all over the world. So you can now open this account in America with an American address and still obtain an IBAN number. And this IBAN number is actually what you're going to have to give your employer in order for them to pay you. So that's usually the biggest thing and the biggest concern that people have is I need a bank account where my employer can pay me when I get to Germany, but I wanna open my bank account now what do I do? TransferWise is now called WISE, and now WISE actually offers this multi-currency account that will allow you to have an IBAN number to get paid from your local employer here in Germany or even in other countries. Perhaps you wanna get paid in pounds from the UK. There are many options here. The account itself is actually entirely free. You do not have to pay for it. You are gonna to have to pay a small fee of about eight euros to actually get that plastic card sent to you in the mail. It can be sent to you in America or wherever you currently are. And the rule at the moment is that you have two free withdrawals per month of up to 200 euros per month, which is okay. But if you wanna open, if you wanna take out more money each month, well then you also have the opportunity to take out more for 50 cents per withdrawal, which I also think is totally fair and quite standard for these online banks at the moment. However, depending on where you are, the rules of this withdrawal system may change. So for example, if you are in America right now and you're using your American address to open up this WISE bank account, well, the rules are different, which means you can withdraw up to two times per month, but a maximum of 150 US per month. And if you go over that, well, then you have to pay 150 US per withdrawal moving forward, opposed to 50 cents in euros per withdrawal. Just so you know right now, um, if you're questioning, well, I'm not American, can I still open an account in my own home country? Currently, this multi-currency account can be opened by residents from the US, the UK, the EEA, Switzerland, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Japan, Malaysia, Canada, and Brazil. So if you're from any of those countries and you have not moved to Germany yet, or even if you have moved to Germany, Germany is obviously included in the EEA here, you are allowed to open up a multi-currency account with WISE. They have online chat and email. I just spent like the last two hours chatting with them via chat. It took about 10 minutes to jump into the chat with them, but then they were relatively quick at answering all of my 100 questions for you guys. So I was really thankful and really happy about that. I find it really interesting. They also offer Apple and Google Pay as well. So it really is like this multi-currency account. It might not seem like a bank account because you're initially opening a currency account and then you're just requesting a bank card but they actually, it is a bank account, you know? So you can actually transfer money to this account in multiple different currencies so that you can get paid in euros, you can still have American dollars in there, which means that when you go back home to the States or the UK or wherever you're from, you can actually pay it with the local currency there as well without any fees. One thing I will mention is that Nevada always seems to be excluded from every single rule and exception when it comes to banking. So I'm sorry, anybody who lives in Nevada, this is not going to be an option for you. However, anybody else within America, you can actually open up this account, get paid in euros, and still be able to use your American address when you first sign up. If you're asking yourself, well, when do the rules switch for me then? When can I take out a max of 200 euros instead of 150 US or pounds, for example, they, they also have a different rule. Well, as soon as you move to Germany and as soon as you have your address, just go back into your account on WISE, 
change your address to your German address, and then all rules and regulations are gonna change for you, which means your bank card, the one you still have, you don't have to order a new card, I asked, you will follow all German rules now. So now the rule that will apply is that you have that 200 euros to take out every month, and then you'll have the 50 cent charge per additional withdrawal for the rest of the month. All in all, I would recommend different banks for different people. If you do speak a little bit of German and you're already living in Germany, I think DKB is a great option. I also really like Commerzbank. If you're not American or from one of the other nationalities that are likely not to be accepted by some of these online banks, then I would say Nuri and Vivid are your best options. I always lean a little bit more towards Vivid just because I love their cashback program and I don't withdraw as much money per month as other people do. If you do withdraw a lot, then Nuri would probably be a really good option for you. Tomorrow is still really cool, but again, their accounts are no longer free, and I know that is a huge thing for internationals who are first moving to Germany. You can do your research. If sustainability is something that is very important to you, then this is also a great option. Otherwise, for everybody else who is not accepted into any of these other banks, please give Wise Bank a try. I will include all of the information to all of these banks down below. This should be your saving grace right now, because like I said, rules and regulations have changed significantly and this might just be your only option <laughs> if you have found alternative options guys please let me know in the comment section below and i can definitely do an updated video i actually talked about some of the best expat banks way back when one of the first videos i ever made here on youtube most of it is still valid but i wanted to do a refresh today so that you got all of the updated and most accurate information for 2022 moving into 2023 and as always, if you have any other questions or you think there's another video that you would like me to put together, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to put together a video for you guys. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope you don't forget to subscribe. I do a lot of like culture shocks and culture differences on this channel, but I also have a lot more exciting things in the works for internationals who are moving to Germany and planning on bringing some of my welcome program over to YouTube in the near future. So stay tuned. And again, any questions, you can shoot them my way via email in the comment section, social media, whatever you like. I am here for you guys. Vielen, vielen lieben Dank und wie immer, bis später.